on the Autobot back at again with an actual Transformers review and I had to review this guy and today we're reviewing my first Velocitron figure that is the Transformers Legacy Velocitron 500 Deluxe Class Cosmos. Now I know this is the box but just want to share off the box art and yeah this Cosmos is the box he whoop dee doo Here he is by the way. I cannot, I just love this guy. He is so cute. I've never, this guy, Bumblebee has got competition for cutest Autobot with this guy. He comes with a little flag here, and what sucks is that they only checkered it on one side. That or mine's a defective copy. I really don't care because I'm not a fan of the flag. I'd rather have him holding his um, blaster here. So he's with his blaster. And the figure's pretty good, actually. He's really decent. Um, very fun and intuitive transformation as well. Um, really like it. But his posability, so he has a head ball joint so we can get all that wiggly waggy look up and down swivel up side to side he's got a full rotation at the arm it kind of brushes up against this little back part here so keep in mind but he's got outward movement he's got a bend here and he also has a swivel uh here as well and his hands have no articulation, which kind of sucks. And he also has these big eyes, ugly ass collar gaps. He does have waist articulation, which is pretty freaking amazing. His legs can kick forward and back pretty dang good. He can do the full splits. If you move these ugly things out the way, you can do the full splits. He has a 90 degree bend at the knee and he has ankle tiltage. So uh, the, uh, it's pretty basic, but... When you see him transform, that's where the shit just gets crazy. Excuse my language. I, it just, it's, it's, it's just insane how fun he is to transform and how this whole thing just stays in the middle of the whole transformation. So to transform him, you're going to want to straighten out everything and you're going to close up the hands here. Like so. And then you're just going to untab these. They're on the, they hook onto these little latches here. And you're just going to rotate them back like that and they're just going to lock them into place it's super simple it's super easy and it's not really that difficult sometimes when it wants to be difficult it can be difficult be a pain but once you get that done you're just going to take his head his noggin close that up and then you're going to untab all this and you're going to rotate it around and then this whole thing is just going to kind of fill up that ugly back cavity and then you're just going to come in here and you're going to swivel up this and you're going to swing his legs forward and then he's got a tab in his butt and you're going to want to untab all of this and you're going to let it sit down no, not like that you're not like you're tabbing it in but you're going to want it to move so that way the legs kind of are hindered backward and then you're going to want to kind of move this all in there kind of like that so that way you can do the whole uh, fancy transformation here. So you're going to fold his feet in and then lock his feet together. Then you're going to flip out the rest of the, the shuttle here on these little tabs. They're his feet. And then you're just going to flip down the front of the shuttle like so. And then that's just going to kind of sit there. Then you're going to fold down these little panels here. The, the, the actual waist pieces actually become there. This whole thing is supposed to slide in, but it does not want to slide in. I do not know why. There it goes. Because you want him to be, you want it to slide in so he stays nice and uh, compressed here in his little shutter, shuttle mode. And then you're just going to lock these arms in here like that. And then like that. And then when you're done, there he is in his awesome, cute little shuttle mode. I'm sorry if I didn't capture that too well. I'm not the best at it. I just look at the figure and I transform it. But there it is. And it looks pretty good. How basically this whole little thing stays in one place during the whole transformation unlike some other third-party figures that people have looked at in the past. So this is kind of neat. You can see basically all of them underneath, but that's okay. He does actually have the little thrusters on the back there. And he actually does have room for blast effect ports. So if you have some blast effects ports, uh, he is a blast effect uh, compatible. And um, yeah, so there you go. And I'm shooting like that. Which is actually really, really cool. And I did that. Sorry. So there it is. Um, it's pretty basic. It's a shuttle. He's got three, two points of articulation. He's got two places. You can plug his gun on either side. And you can also plug it on the back here for when you store the flag on him. Or if you wanted to do it some other way, you could just plug the gun onto here and then take the flag and just put it on his butt. If you wanted to. 
so it's like he's using the flag as like a checker like he's the pace pace car or whatever i don't know i just think the flag is pointless i'm sorry but i just do think it's pointless and uh yeah there is cosmos so let me get him back in his robot mode so and give him his judgment okay and we're back and cosmos is not a bad figure i really do dig the posability robot mode looks good vehicle mode is good transformation is fun and simplistic and i love that my copy does have some loose arms, but that's because it's a pin arm, and you can't really do much about that. Um, it doesn't really quite bother me. The flag kind of idea is cool, I guess, but yeah, it's okay. Um, I don't know if I did show off the ways. He's got really good angle. He's got really good pivot posability, decent posability. He's really fun. He's really cute, and I'm really actually happy I actually found him because I know how hard it has been feel for people to uh, find Cosmos. So yeah, if you want to pick him up, go look at your local Walmart's, Targets, all of that. And if you want more reviews, let me know in the comments down below. This has been Dylan the Autobot signing out.